Hey everybody, it's Miss A and I'm here with my recap video for today's mathematics lesson. We worked on, let me see, we worked on comparing numbers. Numbers using symbols. And ordering numbers. So that's what our focus for today. Ordering numbers. So comparing numbers and ordering numbers. Now the children were taught, first of all, symbols is saying uh, greater than, less than, and equal to. So those are the symbols that the children are responsible to learn. Um, greater than is always the open part comes first to the left and then goes to the, the smaller part or the closed part to the right. Less than is always the closed part is to the left and then moves to the open part, which is to the right. And then equal is equal. So what we had to do is we learned two strategies to do this. Now, the children do not have to use a particular strategy. There's nothing that will test them on how to actually use the strategy. What they will be tested on is whether they get the right answer. So the reason why we teach them both strategies is one, sometimes strategies work for some kids and don't work for others, but also on a test, they may see a question that is posed with a particular strategy, but they don't have to use that one. So there are two strategies. We have the place value chart, And we have a number line. So those are the two strategies. And I will show both of them. And um, I'm also going to put up their homework assignment. The kids do have a quiz tomorrow. And the homework assignment is very much like the quiz. So please keep that in mind. So the first one we have is our place value chart. When we are comparing two numbers, and I'm going to start off with something small, 176 and 194. So when we do this, we set up a place value chart. Basically, that's my hundreds, that's my tens, that's my ones. This means two zeros at the end, one zero at the end, and no zeros at the end. And I line up my numbers, and since they both have three place values, one, two, three, I just do three each. Now, if one had three and one had four, I'd have to be very careful about how I place my numbers in there. Since they both have three, I just write them, and I write them in the order in which they're written. So this is the first one. This is the second one. Now, when we use a place value chart to compare, we compare the greatest place value. So my hundreds with the two zeros, my greatest place value. When I cover those up and I look at these, I see those two numbers, I see that those numbers are equal, and I write equal. Since they're equal, I have to go to my next place value, which would be tens. I look at these two numbers, I see the seven is first, seven is less than nine, so I'm gonna do the less than sign, like here. And once I do that, I don't even have to compare this next row. So now I can compare these using symbols, and I write them in the same order. 176, and I use that symbol, is less than 194. So I have just compared those. Now, in order to write them in least to greatest or greatest to least, I think the biggest mistake that kids make is they don't pay attention to the order in which the test question wants. So for this particular one, if I wanted least to greatest, I would look, this one is 176 comma 194. If they wanted greatest to least, it'd be 194 comma 176. So that's how we do it using a place value chart. I do another set here. Here are my numbers. All right, so here's my first number written. I have four place values, so I have to have four places. And since I have four, I can just write that number in here. Now this one has three place values. So what I do with that is I make sure I don't make a mistake and I start all the way at the right and I go right to left. Seven, eight, nine. And now I do the same thing. I compare my thousands. Right here I have a one and I have nothing. The one 
is greater than, so I can stop there. I don't even need to look at the rest of the numbers. So I write it the same way. 1,391 is greater than 987. And then I would just put them in order from greatest to least or least to greatest, depending upon the question. That's the first strategy that they were taught. The next strategy is a number line. All right, so let's say we have these numbers, 21, 28, 25. I want to um, compare and order these numbers. So I am going to quickly do a quick place value chart because I need to see where my greatest value is. So once I've done that, this is my tens, this is my ones. I look at my tens, since all of these are a two, I don't need to start at zero on a number line. Since they're all two and it's in the tens place, I can start at 20. And that I think is the hardest part for kids to figure out is where to start and where to end. So since they're all two and they're in the tens place, I can start at 20. And since they're all twos, I only need to go up one from two, which is 30, so, or three, and then it's in the tens place, so 30. So my number line is from 20 to 30. That's, I think, the hardest part for kids to really figure out is where to limit their number line. You don't need to go from zero all the way up to 29 or 30. Halfway in between 20 and 30 is 25, and then I just do five, and I don't even write the numbers. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now I'm going to plot my numbers on the number line. This is 21. 21 is one jump from 20. And I'm only going to label that one. Then I have 28. Here's 25, 26, 27, 28. And I label it. And then I have 25, which it's already labeled. So I put my numbers on there. Now I can compare these numbers. 21 and 28. Well, number lines work from left to right. So from left to right is least to greatest. That's how number lines work. So left to right. So 21 and 28. Well, 28 is closer to my left. So 28 is le or 21 is less than 28. And then here's 28 and here's 25. So 28 is closer to the right, so it is greater than. This is how you compare three numbers. You compare these two first, and then you compare these two. If they're written like this, you have to compare them to the number to the right and left of the symbol, or the symbol space. And now if I needed to order them in order from least to greatest or greatest to least, I would just use my number line. 21 from least to greatest, then I would go 25, and then I would go 28. So that was their um, work for today. They did have a multi-response uh, problem of the day that went along with this. I will post that as well um, so that you could see it. But let me get the notebook so you get an idea of what it looked like. We did work on it in class, so you can see. So it's how can I compare and order numbers using symbols. This is what we know from the word problem. This is what they're asking. We talked about how we knew it was adding, and they said it was that word. And then here is our multi-response boxes where we work everything out. And this is where we figured out our math. So I will post that problem as well for the students to work on and practice. Um, as far as multi-response questions go, many of my students are getting the hang of it and definitely choosing more than one answer. Um, we're not necessarily always getting them right, so we're still working on that um, accuracy of the problem. But I did have 17 students that only chose one, actually 18 students now that only chose one answer. So we're not reading those question types correctly. And I will, let me put that up here so you can see it. the problem so you can see it. So here's the problem. 
Felix has 4,178 baseball trading cards. Matthew has 2,399 trading cards. Mark has 576 trading cards. Paul has 1,222 cards. Dan has 1,778 cards. Steve has 3,029 cards. Choose all sets of boys whose sum of cards are greater than Felix's total cards. So that choose all, that right there, tells me that it's multi-response and I should be picking more than one answer. And those are the boy option choices. So they have to figure out whether those boys, their cards equal more than Felix, who has 4,178. So that was part of their multi-response uh, problem of the day. That was towards their lesson. All right, I hope this video helped. That's a recap on today. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments.